It's History Stew 1297, and it, this tape is going entirely too nicely. So I think I'll screw it up a little bit. Next we have, from a 10-inch acetate, from a Cleveland recording studio, some garage band, obviously, from Cleveland, from around 1965 or 6. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to make it through this one. <laughs>
Stand by, Senator. We're rolling now. Take 76, wild thing. Senator Barry said to remember what happened in 1964. This time, 68, we want to get to the kids. We want to get the kids' votes, so you've got to do it like they want to hear it. You ready, Senator? Stand by. Wow. Beautiful. You'll make my heart sing. Senator Rocky says more feeling. You'll make everything move it. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, Rocky, on the arena now. Barry, your timing is off. Uh, Ronnie, uh, give us a little more of that West Coast sound, please. Dick, you missed it again. Oh, uh, Rocky, come on now. You're paying for this session. Well, then, I think you moved me. Lay it on him, Senator. Lay it on him. But I want to know for sure. Tempo, tempo. Come on and hold me tight. Think of the word, Senator. You move me. Okay, now, gang, let's go off for a big finish. Now, Rocky, let's put it up now. Barry, now it's yours, Barry. Ronnie, come on. Come on, little soul. Little soul, Barry. Dick, come on. Dick, you ready, Senator? Wake up, Senator. Wake up. Here we go. Ready? Stand by. Uh-oh, wild thing. Well, close, Senator. Close. You'll make my heart sing. Big finish. Oh, you gallant wild thing. That's it. Oh, shake it, shake it, All right, Senator, a few yeah, yeah, Senator. Yeah, yeah. One more, Senator. Yeah. 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 Very, good. Very good. Senator, it is our pleasure to speak with you here tonight. As Republican minority leader in the Senate, your views on affairs of state and on the political scene are always in demand. Senator, what's new? Well, if I gave you a direct answer, it would be almost a prejudgment of an issue on which testimony is still to be taken. <laughs> Senator, your political flamboyance is such that when coupled with your flowery oratory, there are those among the opposing party who say that you are actually nothing but a buffoon. I do not disagree. <laughs> Senator, I wonder if we can get some insight on your colorful career. Well, I know no reason why we shouldn't. Well, then, why did you decide to become a United States Senator? Because that was my first job after I got out of high school. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Van Voorhees. Now, Senator, not to bring up a sore point, but you did nominate Mr. Goldwater in Chicago, did you not? So to speak. <laughs> Senator, are you denying it? I think so. <laughs> well, regardless, what do you think Mr. Goldwater and Mr. Miller should do during the coming years? I think they can very usefully get a lot of indoctrination by going to any party county headquarters, stuffing envelopes, getting to see people, develop a poise uh, as they see candidates and others come in. Uh, run errands and so forth. <laughs> with party organization and machinery. And then it becomes part of their nature and it makes for uh, uh, adeptness in the political field. <laughs> Mr. Swayze. Senator, do you think the Republican Party will stage a comeback in 1968? I know of no reason why it should. Uh, well, in your own mind, do you see a candidate emerging for 1968? No, I don't. 
Well, then, where do you think the Republican candidate will come from in 1968? Out of the woodwork. <laughs> Senator, how are the Democrats reacting to the news that Mr. Goldwater may step down as head of the Republican Party? They resent it. <laughs> Continue the questioning now with Mr. St. Ledger. Senator, there's a move afoot to curtail the filibuster. I think I can say this. Excuse Senator. me, are my eyes deceiving me, or is that a naked girl sitting up there on the Senate balcony? I think one can say reasonably that this has occupied the attention of the Senate since the 9th of January. <laughs> Looking back, Senator, over your career, has there been one outstanding statement that you've made to your colleagues in your many years in the Senate? There has been. May I ask what it was? Little Tom Thumb pulled out a plum, as you know. <laughs> We noticed that you were conspicuous by your absence at the Washington Senator's opening game this year, an event which normally attracts the political leaders of both parties. Why was that? First, I had not been invited. Secondly, I, there was no hint that I would be invited. We understand. Third, I was not invited by anybody. <laughs> We're a little short of time, sir. Fourth, I would not know if I was invited. No, we, we understand. There were two reasons why I wouldn't go. It wasn't an important question, sir. My set of duties here are taxing enough as it is, and they are continuous. I would not like to see the implication go out. Uh, we have been talking with the Senate Minority Leader. Uh, we're sure he has enjoyed it as much as we have. I don't think so. 